we are asked to evaluate this. How do you evaluate this? As you can see in this place, we need to find limit as S is going towards zero for all this. All you need to do is to apply this for the numerator and also apply the same T to the denominator because actually this is for all of them. Okay? Now, that is to say limit as S is steady towards zero for this upper one and also limit as S is steady towards zero for this denominator. Okay? After this step now, we are going to apply it for each of the terms. Each of the terms. Okay? Let's go. That is to say, this for x square 5 okay all over this Okay, look at it. Do you have any question? Do you understand this? So what we are actually interested in is we use 0 to replace x. 5, this x again, we use 0 to replace it. There's no s here. I, the same thing here, there's s raised to the power 2, 0, there is no S here. Okay? It's like I'm making a mistake here. This is 15, please. Okay? 15. So this we go, this we go, this we go, this we go. Remaining what? 9 over 15. 3 here is 3. 3 here is 5. So the final answer is 3 over 5 for this question. Okay? Hope you understand this. If you have any question, do not hesitate to ask. Okay?